Hi there, today I'm going to be taking you through an example of using Universal Platform to move data from a SQL Server across to Power BI, Microsoft Power BI. Microsoft Power BI is a new product that's been released by Microsoft, really a data visualization layer. I've been using it quite, quite a bit and I've been finding it quite tough to move data into Power BI. So this example just uses the Microsoft Power BI API and Universal Platform and hopefully we can make getting data into the product a lot easier. I'd just like to take you through some prerequisites that are required for, for doing this. The, the first prerequisite is Universal Platform. That can be got from the, the website on your screen um, and downloaded for, for free for a, for a trial version. Universal Platform Power BI Connector is also available on the store. You will need a version of SQL Server. In this instance, I'll just use SQL Server Express, which is more than enough uh, to, to go through this example. Uh, you'll need a Power BI user account. And last but not least, you're going to need a Microsoft Azure Active Directory Client ID. Now, I must warn you, this is quite tough to find. And I've, I've included an MSDN link that, can, that details how to get your Microsoft Azure Client ID. That's probably the toughest part of the whole course is trying to get that, that elusive client ID. The rest should be very simple and, and hopefully the slides I'll take you through will, will show you just how simple it is. Okay, I'm going to end this and, and move on to the universal platform screens. In the first instance, I'm going to show you how to add the, the Microsoft Power BI package. I've already added it um, in, in the whole demonstration. I've actually done the demonstration. So, so I'll, but, but I'll take you through the screens and show you how to do it. What you'd do here is you'd say add package. You'd find the Microsoft Power BI WIS file and you'd say open. Then you'd say apply and review and you would say update. And the program would go and make sure the, the package to do Microsoft, the package or the connector is uploaded into Universal Platform. Just one gotcha that often catches me doing this is the Universal Platform Manager is often running in the taskbar and, and if that's running in the taskbar it is very difficult or it won't upload the package so you have to actually make sure this is exited before you apply the package. The next thing I'll take you on to is just the credentials or where you put the credentials in in Universal Platform to, to get Microsoft Power BI to work Okay, so user credentials, you would go add and you would choose Microsoft as your Active Directory credential. I have added mine just for speed and you will see, you can give it any name you like, I've just called it Microsoft or Power BI cred. The next thing I've filled in, I've left everything else standard and the, the next thing I've filled in is, Mike, is my, my username. Then I filled in my password, and last but not least, the elusive client ID. And that's it. Click save, and your, your, your user credential is, is done. The next thing I'm going to move on to is, is actually configuring the connector, the Power BI connector. To do this, you would choose Add, you would choose the Power BI connector. You can either scroll to search for it, or you can just type Power in here and choose the Power BI connector. You can give it a name. I've left it standard. It was just Power BI Connector. The next thing I've had to fill in, everything else I've, I've left as is. Um, I just made sure that it chose down, it chose the right credential. In, in my instance, I'm just using a demo instance, so I've only got that credential. In other examples, you could have a number of credentials, so just make sure that, you've, that the right one is chosen down there. The next thing to look for, and this catches me out quite often in using Universal Platform, is the methods by default are set to none. Now, as soon as you come to working with this connector, they, the, the connector will not appear in, in the pipelines where you actually do the, the most of the work um, unless you have enabled the, the, the methods. And as you can see, there are eight different methods. Uh, what a method is, it's a way of interacting between Universal Platform and Power BI. And we have eight different ways of, of Universal Platform interacting with Power BI. And that's it. You click save and close and your connector is done. The next thing I've done is I've, I've connected up to a database. 
Just before I go and do that, I'm, go I'm just going to show you very briefly how I've set up the database. I've installed Microsoft SQL um, Express. I've, I've created a database. The database is called Power BI underscore test. And then I've created a table. It's a, it's a very simple table. Just two, two columns, country and items. And what I've done after that is I have gone and right clicked and just said edit top 200 rows and I've just thrown some data in for the example. So that's, that's my setup of Microsoft SQL Express. If you have a look here, when I connect, um, that's the, the method of connecting. I, I have co I've, I've copied that, I, I advise you do as well because that's how you, you put in your connection to the database. Now on databases, you would choose the drop-down Microsoft SQL Server database, which I've done. I've given it a name, I've called it Power BI Database. And then I've created my SQL Server string. I'll just make this nice and wide so you can, you can see it. You can actually use build connection string. I find it easier just to type it out and please feel free to use the, 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 um, the string that I've got here. Obviously put in your own details. But um, it goes server equals, then I've just pasted what I've copied on, from the database. I've copied the, the string there. Database, I've put the database equals Power BI test. User, space ID, very important to make sure the space is there, is UP and my password UP. And then you click test and success, I've managed to connect to the database. So that's the, the connection to the database. I've, got, I've got, now got two arms. I've got one arm that's linking into Power BI. Uh, the other arm is linking into the database and I'm, I'm ready to move on from there. The next, the next part of the, the program I'm taking you to is called pipelines and it's actually where you do the programming. The programming is, is done using flow based programming which is nice and easy. It's actually no developer required. And what I've done here is because I've loaded the, the Power BR into, into the platform I type power in the filter and it brings up all my, my different methods that I can use with, um, with Power BI and Universal Platform. The easiest and the first one that I'm going to use is create data set from database table. And to get this onto the palette is as easy as dragging and dropping. And there over here you have your configuration items that you'd need to fill out. I'm just going to close this because I've pre-populated mine. By the way, the, the two dots on the end, as soon as you click run, they are, they'll appear there for you. Because it's such a simple pipeline, you really don't need to put those in. You just need to drag this on and, and get started. What this one actually does, it just creates a data set on Power BI from a, SQL, from a SQL table schema. There's the description of what it does over here. And, uh, and, and it doesn't actually take any data through. So it just creates the schema in Power BI. The configuration items you need to put in. Name, I haven't changed any of these. I left them all standard. The data set, you can call this whatever you, li whatever you like. It'll be, it'll be your data set that appears in Power BI. Uh, your, your schema name is the schema name for the database because it's SQL and I haven't fiddled with the schema. It's still DBO. Table name, as can be seen, I've called my table Power BI. So in this instance, there's the table name, Power BI, and database comes from my database connection that I made earlier, where I called it Power BI Database. Um, and I won't show you the screen, but that's the, that's the, the link. If you, if you use the product a lot, you, you'll have other databases that you've connected to down below here. And there we go. I'm, I'm ready to push play. Just before I push play, I just want to take you to my Power BI instance. I've actually deleted a lot of things on, on Power BI just to make it nice and, and clean and easy to see. Power BI, you, you need to have a dashboard. So, so I've, I've added a dashboard, it's called Power BI Test. To add the dashboard, you can click plus and you, and you type whatever you like and um, you save it. And that will be your, your, your uh, a dashboard that you've, that you've created. It isn't necessary to, to create two, so I'm just gonna delete this one and I'm just using Power BI Test. And as you see, there's no reports and there's, there's no data sets. 
I'm going to create a data set right now. So I'm all ready to, to rock and roll here. I push run, and what this is doing, it's stretching out an arm into the SQL database, grabbing the table schema, and using my credentials to upload this to Power BI. And we have completed. By the way, that tick means it is done. And if there's any errors, it'll tell you, it'll tell you an error count. And I'll move to Power BI. Click on data sets and there's my PBR test has come across. Let's just have a look at the, the Power BI side of things, just to, to get you comfortable with Power BI. The, the, the PBR test is a database, I mean, sorry, is a data set. I click on that and it takes me through to this. Now this over here is, is a table and it's the table for, for that particular data set that is PBR test. Um, and, and as you can see, it's just brought across the schema. I can click these two, and you'll see there's no data. Just to make sure, I mean, just to show you clearer that there is no data, I'm going to change this to a bar graph. And there we go, we've got a bar graph, and there is no data inside the, inside the graph. This um, Power BI over here, being a table as part of the data set, you will come across this in quite a few of the eight methods. And uh, so, so it's just important to understand that you have a data set and a table that is within Power BI. We differentiate between the Power BI table and the SQL table. If it's just if it doesn't differentiate, it will be the Power BI table. If it says SQL table, it will be the table from, from SQL. Okay, so as you see, I have now created the schema and I'm going to save this as a report. So I'll click save and I'm going to call it Power BI, uh, help if I could spell, uh, and I'm going to call it Report, and click Save. Now I go back here, click on Reports, and you'll see it's a nice report with, um, with nothing in it. The next step I'm going to take you, for, take you through is the next part, or oh, it's, it's, an, it's another pipeline, and in this pipeline, what I've done, just, just quickly, I'll just take you through how to create a pipeline. You'd go add in the pipeline, give it a name, and click save, and then you would go to the editor, and that's what I've done in, in the other examples. So, so just for, for ease of use, I've, take a, I've, I've created the pipeline already. And we go to the editor, and then I'm just going to type power in here, so I can bring up my Power BI connectors. The next one's nice and simple. We've given them nice English names. It's add SQL data rows, and again, I've just dragged and dropped it. Don't worry about the beginning and the end points. You don't you don't need those. And you can see there's five configuration items that need to be filled in. Um, I've I've gone and filled those in already. This is the data set name, and here, as I, as I alluded to, the, the table name, it just says table name, so I know that's the table name in Power BI. Luckily, the, when we copied it up, we, the table name stayed the same, so it doesn't really matter. You don't have to differentiate, but that's the table name for Power BI, and this is the SQL table name. The database, again, is Power BI database, and the namespace, as I said, I haven't changed it, is, is DBO. Now I'm ready to run this. I click run, wheel goes round and round, nice tick box, and let's hope the data has moved across to the Power BI. And there we go, the data has now been, has now been populated. That's a very simple example. As you see, we still have a number of other, of other methods to go through. And, um, and a number of other examples. I'll, I'll take you through those in, in future videos. Thank you very much for listening, and goodbye.